In this tutorial, I'm going to explore how to create a superhero version of the queen like this. So first of all, we're gonna start off and get an image that we can use as an image prompt of the queen. We're gonna search for the queen of England in Google, and then we're gonna change the licenses to Creative Commons licenses. We're gonna look for one that is applicable. So I found this one on the Wiki Commons file. I'm just gonna check exactly the license of this so we're not breaking any rules. We can find that this image is licensed under the Creative Commons attribution license. So I'm gonna attribute the taker in the description below. So then we're gonna open this into a new window and we're gonna copy the image path. This will be the image that we're using as our prompt. Next up, we're gonna look for an example image of some content that we want to evoke. So I'm gonna imagine Dear Queen Liz as a Wonder Woman. So I've typed in Wonder Woman to Google Images, found an image that I like. So what you can do is take a nice screenshot of the image straight away, come into this and drag it in. Once it's in, you can go down to submit and the image will process. And during the processing, it will spit out a number of useful keywords that we can use in our text prompt. So I'll give you a little bit more information on this tool whilst we wait for it to process. It provides an appropriate text prompt that can be used with stable diffusion. It also works with other AI art generators and it allows you to recreate similar looking versions of the image painting. So now we have the prompt and in here it says a woman in a wonder movie costume holding a sword, a poster by Everett Warner, CG Society, Feminist Art, DC Comics. Now, what we're gonna do with a couple of these things is we're gonna select some of the keywords that we think are gonna be very useful for creating our own art. Now we're gonna come into a text document to start building out our prompt. So the first thing we're sticking in is the image URL from the Creative Commons image that we're using. Now we're going to add in some of these keywords that we got from Replicate. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I've come into the community feed of Midjourney and I've had a little scroll through and I've been looking for some superhero examples, which can be good for finding extra prompts that are gonna work with us. So I found this one of Doctor Strange here. We have a little look at this man and we're going to come to the three dots and go down to copy prompt. We're gonna come back to our text document and paste all of that in. Now we're gonna to start to change some of this to fit our circumstance. So we're gonna go with Queen Elizabeth or Lilibet, as she was known to her closest friends. The second, portrait, red armor clothes, intricate details, epic scene, photography, cinematic lighting, volumetric lighting, ethereal lighting, extremely detailed volumetric rays. We're gonna take the other keywords and put them at the end of this. Now I'm going to choose an aspect ratio, so that's dash dash AR space. And then we're gonna go with a portrait poster style version. One of the reasons I'm doing this is because for character design, Mid Journey performs a lot better when you give it a vertical resolution to work with. So two to three is a common poster size. I'm gonna use that. We're also gonna add in an image weight parameter because we want it to resemble old dear Liz, at least get some elements of her in there. So we're going to put that quite high. We're gonna put that at 0.8. Also gonna add in as a super hero. Now I'm going to leave a prompt up for you which so that you can follow along if you like. I'm going to put some things in brackets like I'm going to put the character in brackets so that you can change this variable into whoever you like even if it's just a man or a woman or a dog or a cat or a fox or a broccoli or a bottle of water or a donkey or Jesus or God or any creature big or small, inanimate or animated. Anything at all which comes into your mind which you might want to put inside of the Midjourney machine. So I'm also going to give a little shout out to the man who created this one, LG Creative. Go check out some of this work from this guy here. Now we're going to copy all of this. We're going to come back into our Midjourney chat and I'm going to show, I've already been playing around with a few here, so I will show you how this works. I'm going to put all of this in. I'm going to make sure that looks good. I'm going to correct the dashes there because in my notes, it adapted those into some other form of punctuation. So I've got Grammarly on here. But I'm gonna leave those like that. Now we sit back, sit back and wait. So now the art with Majani is to refine our prompts and to re-roll until we get something that is looking like what we wanted to. So I've been playing around and re-rolling with the prompt and trying to get number one, a strong likeness of the queen herself and number two something that is aesthetically pleasing you can see here some of my different variations that i've already had and so here it is as our portrait has been put out and we can see that maybe she's looking good there's a good likeness i personally might like to see a little bit more of a superhero element to her and so what we're going to do is we're going to take the prompt again and i'm just going to make one small adjustment we're going to go to close up as I'm gonna add in Wonder Woman. But whilst this is working, it's good to come back and to upscale uh, one of these that we like particularly. 
I'm quite pleased with the first one. I think this has the strongest likeness to her at the moment. So here is one upscaled and it's looking pretty good, but it doesn't have the superhero element. So that's why I changed the prompt and added in as a Wonder Woman. And it's starting to, for me, give a lot more like what we were looking for. So we're going to do a couple of things here. We're going to upscale three of these. I'm going to upscale two, three, and four for myself. And I'm also going to re-roll the prompt. So now this has been upscaled. I'm going to remaster these because this has been giving me the best results so far. I'm going to remaster all three of these. I'm also going to take most of the prompt, but I'm going to leave out the image part because I'm going to try it out with two of the other algorithms available inside of Midjourney. One is dash dash test, which is a new, more coherent algorithm. And then I'm gonna do the same. And this time I'm gonna use dash dash test P, which is the photographic filter algorithm that is available at the moment in Midjourney. It's great to put the images side by side so that you can compare them easily. You can flit between one and another. And we can see that in the second version, which is the ones here on the right, I don't feel they have performed quite as strongly as the first version. So I might try upscaling the second and the third, but overall I'm gonna try and re-roll the prompt again. So now we've upscaled and remastered some of our works and we're starting to get something that is working well. I think the biggest issue with this one is that although the content and construction of the image is very nice, she does not look that much like Queen Elizabeth II. And so this one I think is more in her likeness. I'm pretty pleased with that one. And this one here, does not look so much like the Queen again. So what I will do now is continue going through each of these versions, finding ones that I like, and if something can be improved, I will re-roll it and iteratively find better and better versions of what it is I'm looking for. And finally, when we're happy with an image, like I've got this one, we're going to open it in a new tab. We're gonna save it, download, and the final step is to come to letsenhance.io where you can upscale these images and vastly increase the resolution. So this one's going from 1664 by 2432 pixels all the way up to 3328 by 4864. And so you can finally go to start processing. And there we have it, the queen herself as a superhero, as Wonder Woman herself. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, feel free to check out my course on Udemy where I run through all of the features inside of Mid